Today we will be discussing the criteria of purity and purification techniques. The easiest way of assessing purity of a substance is through observing their melting and boiling points. Pure substances melt and boil at fixed temperatures while impure substances melt and boil over a range of temperatures as illustrated by the red line. The first method of purification is known as distillation. This is a separation technique used to separate miscible liquids. Miscible liquids are liquids that dissolve in each other such as ethanol and water. The solution is heated until boiling. The liquid with the lowest boiling point vaporizes first. The vapor is then condensed back into a liquid in the Liebig condenser and collected in a container. Fractional distillation has many applications including the separation of crude oil into its components. The second method of purification is filtration. Filtration is a separation technique that is used to separate a mixture of a solid and a liquid that do not dissolve. The mixture is poured into a funnel containing a filter paper. The liquid flows through the filter paper and is collected. The solid particles are unable to pass through the filter paper. These deposits are known as the residue. Crystallization is another method of purification. Crystallization is a process used to separate a solution of a solid dissolved in a liquid. For example, a solution of salt dissolved in water. The solution is warmed, allowing some solvent to evaporate until there is very little solvent left. The product is a saturated solution. The saturated solution is then left to cool down. The cooling process causes the remaining solvent to evaporate out, thus allowing pure crystals of the solid to form. Why does purity matter? As engineers, it is essential to know the purity of a substance before using it. This is to ensure that our final products are of a reliable quality and standard.